Here's how analog updates. You have a scan line that goes from top to bottom, and you can see how the pole is a discontinuity where the black line is between the scan lines. Here's DJI. So with DJI, you can see a pattern. You get frame, 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 pause. Frame, 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 pause. Frame, 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 pause. Here's DJI when it's stressed and the megabits is low and it's reading 28 milliseconds. You can see the frame paces and you can see the frame pacing is even more irregular, but it has the same underlying pattern of frame, 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 pause, but sometimes so with some extra pauses. And it's also, of course, getting blocky at this point with there being a low bit rate. Uh, of course, you, you won't see the blockiness so much unless there's a lot of movement. And there was a big stutter there, another big one there. Here's what HD0 looks like in slow motion. You can see the scanning lines coming down just like we saw with analog. Fun fact, HD0 is the only HD digital solution that doesn't take an entire frame in order to transfer the packet to the goggle. HD0 is transmitting as soon as it's reading off the camera and then uh, displaying on the screen here, just like analog does. That's how it gets subframe uh, latency numbers. Here's analog and digital side by side. So you can see that they both update in the same pattern and at the same rate, scanning from top to bottom. Here I've slowed it down another half speed so you can see it in even more detail. Focus on the pole and see how the pole gets updated as the scan line comes down. The two truly work the same way. It's amazing. So here's what analog interference looks like. You can see there's the herringbone sideways pattern. Um, you can see that the static in HD0 will change on every scan line. So this is all uh, acting how I would expect it to. Um, and, and you know this is to show that rather than having latency deviations, HD0 will show uh, corrupted information where there's interference. Here's what interference looks like on analog. So I had HD0 running at very high output and you can still kind of make out the pole in the frame, uh, but obviously it's pretty hard to do. So here's what HD0 looks like versus DJI. You can see there's a very big difference in the way that they update. HD0 is a rolling and consistent update, and DJI has this pattern to it where it pauses. So here's what HD0 breakup versus DJI um, breakup slash latency spikes look like. The goggles are reporting, I think, 28 milliseconds going up to 30 milliseconds. But as you can see, the frame pacing is very irregular. Where on HD0, there's a scan line that comes down, scan line that comes down. Uh, it takes about two seconds per scan line, and that equates correctly to 60 frames per second. Uh, uh, DJI is obviously 120, but uh, you're missing a lot of frames. That's it.